The third mathematical habit of mind is construct viable arguments and critique the reasoning of others. This habit of mind can be utilized in student learning experiences. Students at all grade levels can listen to the arguments of others and ask questions to develop an understanding of mathematics and its application in everyday situations. Elementary students should begin to construct arguments using concrete references, such as manipulatives or pictorial representations, such as drawings and diagrams. The goal of this habit of mind is to provide opportunities for students to engage in a mathematical environment through mathematical discourse in an environment where they feel safe to discuss their ideas, ask questions, and justify their answers. Teachers, as the facilitators of student development of this habit of mind, should model how to analyze problems using mathematical assumptions, definitions, and established results in constructing arguments. We should also show how to actively listen to the arguments of others and ask useful questions to determine if an argument makes sense. Students can engage with peers and critique the reasoning of others through intentional questioning such as, what mathematical evidence would support your solution? How did you decide to try that strategy? Did you try a method that did not work? Why didn't it work? which promotes and develops mathematical habit of mind three. In my classroom, I seek to build proficiency by asking, can you explain your thinking and why? This question prompts the student to think about the strategy they used and justify their reasoning. In terms of teaching strategies, for example, using a think-pair-share strategy can build students' confidence in talking about math with their peers. Teachers can also provide question stems to help students construct viable arguments and justify their reasoning. As teachers embed Mathematical Habit of Mind 3, students develop the confidence to try new strategies, recognize and explain flaws, mistakes, or misconceptions, and analyze other students' thoughts. As teachers embed Mathematical Habit of Mind 3, students develop the confidence to try new strategies, recognize and explain flaws, mistakes, or misconceptions, and analyze other students' thoughts. When working through this investigation, students use a variety of strategies to solve addition and subtraction problems using mixed numbers. Students are then tasked to share or explain their work with a partner using randomly selected question stems. This develops the use of questioning to clarify and improve student arguments as well as build vocabulary and communication skills that can be applied across content areas and outside of schools. When students have these mathematical discussions, they are reinforcing independent reasoning and understanding as well as developing mathematical language. It is important that we teach our students that a viable argument is based on evidence, representations, and explanations of thinking. Mathematical Habit of Mind 3 helps our students become effective problem solvers, critical thinkers, and communicators that can foster the skills and mindset to succeed in mathematics and beyond.